Hi everybody, it's Daphne and you're very welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming to spend some time with me today. I thought today that I would do some empties because I have them building up for a little while and I just need to clear them out. So um, it's mainly skincare, a little bit of makeup, a little bit of hair, very small amount of hair care and some body care. Um, but as I say, mainly skincare. So I will get stuck right in. I have used up two of my Avalon Organics Intense Defense with Vitamin C Cleansing Milk and um, absolutely love this cleanser. My girls use it as well. It's very nourishing, hydrating, doesn't strip the skin. You can rinse it off, you can use um, a wet flannel to remove it. It removes all makeup. You can actually use it to remove eye makeup as well. It's very gentle on the eyes and it's a natural, it's a lovely clean product. I'm actually, we have another one. I've just started it, um, but I am about to try in the same range, in the same, rather from the same brand, the cleanser for mature skin. So I'm excited to try that. So I'll leave my girls to use this one, but I will go back to it as well. I absolutely love them. So as I say, we have purchased again, and I don't know how many bottles of this we've gone through. Um, still on uh, skincare, this is the... Derma E Essentials Gly Radiance Toner with Glycolic Acid and Rubios um, lo Lotion Tonic. And that's it there. Um, love this. I go between this and the Pixie Glow Tonic, which is also gly glyconic, glycolic um, lotion. I love both of them, so I go between the two. And um, I have a funny feeling that the percentage of glycolic acid in this is slightly higher um, but they're equally as good so this I order online the pixie I can purchase um, in Marks and Spencer's they carry it highly recommend that as well <clears throat> goes very nicely with the cleansing milk I've used up the Garnier Skin Active um, nourishing botanical gel wash with honey flower 96% natural ingredients for dry to very dry skin and that's it there um, I do like this, and there's a tiny little, no, I think it's water actually at the end of it. Um, I did like this, um, my, my daughter liked it as well. It's gentle, it is a foaming face wash. I used it in the morning. I liked it, but I don't think I'd repurchase. Um, I'm just conscious of using foaming cleansers on my skin now at this stage, so. Um, but it, I would recommend it, it's nice, and it is 96% um, um, natural. Um, this is one that was a kind of a fail for me. Um, it's the Ultra Pure Rose Water and Glycerin Hydrating and Harmonising Toner. Um, sorry, there's a shine on it. There it is there. Um, I love rose water as a toner and I love it from this brand, but with the, um, oh, the, gly the glycerin, I didn't like it with the glycerin. It just made my skin sticky. Now, my daughter liked it. She used it as, as a spray to set her makeup and she also used it for mixing pigments. Um, eye pigments. She liked it for that, but um, I just didn't like the stickiness. But I do like the pure rose water in that in that brand. But I won't be repurchasing that one. Um, let me see now. Yes, I'm on to. Oh yeah, here. I have them all in a little basket here. <clears throat> this is another Garnier Skin Active Express Two in One Eye Makeup Remover. Removes all makeup, including waterproof. Um, ultra ultra efficient. Protects eyelashes, no rubbing required, no greasy feel, gentle on the eyes and enriched in arginine. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I really do like this. I don't know how many bottles of this we have gone through because, again, I leave these kind of universal items in the bathroom. So I use them and my daughters use them as well. So they really like that too. It's very gentle um, and it, it is very good at removing even stubborn eye makeup. So I have repurchased, I think I'm actually nearly at the end of the next bottle as well. So... <laughs> Um, face cream. You all have heard me talk about Mad Hippie. It's my favourite brand for lots of different uh, different products. Um, this is the Mad Hippie face cream. I've gone through two of these. I'm waiting for my next order. It hasn't quite come in yet. This is um, advanced face advanced skincare face cream for all skin types with peptides, ac acai or acai. Um, argan oil and resveratrol so it's very anti-aging resveratrol is um from grapes grapeseed and um it is is very good for anti-aging and peptides as well 
So I, it, this is a lovely, it's a lovely texture. It's really readily absorbed by the skin and it doesn't leave your skin sticky or greasy or anything like that. And I, I, initially when I started using it, I thought this, you know, one pump, it's not going to be enough to cover my, to, you know, to do my face and my neck. It is. It's actually brilliant. My one, and it's not a complaint, it's just that you cannot see when it's running out and it literally just does run out. So you kind of have to keep on top of yourself. I know I generally get 10 weeks or so out of that. Um, but I think my daughter was using this, so um, it ran out a little bit quicker and that's why my order hasn't come in time. So in the meantime, I'm using another um, moisturiser just for the last couple of days and it's from the Avalon Organics range as well, which I will talk about. I won't talk about it now, but I will talk about it in, in another video. Um, but I'm, I'm, this is my, my face cream of choice. And sticking with Mad Hippie, um, my serums are my Mad Hippie Vitamin C and the Vitamin A Serum. And I love these. I've been using the Vitamin A Serum for, I'd say, a year. Definitely have seen um, an improvement of my skin. Um, and yet it's the it's a natural Vitamin A. It's got, it's with H, P, R and uh, sodium hyaluron hyaluronate. Um, it, I just massage into clean skin every every other night until skin adjusts, then move to every night, follow in 10 minutes with moisturiser. Um, it says may, may cause increased sensitivity to the sun. So obviously with any vitamin A or retinol or retin-A, you, you, you have to use a sunscreen every day. I absolutely love this. It's very gentle. You don't get any of the nasty side effects. You don't get peeling or redness, but it definitely works. Now, it takes longer, obviously, because it's a more gradual and it's a more gentle um, um, way of using vitamin A. I'm sorry, there's a hair tickling my eye. I think it's gone now. So the vitamin C is with uh, konjac root, ferulic and hyaluronic acid. And actually, that's not gone. I'm just going to pause for a second. Sorry, don't know what that was, but I love these two serums. So I use the vitamin A at night and the vitamin C in the morning. You can use the vitamin C at night as well, but I choose to use it in the morning. And with the vitamin C serum, I've definitely seen a brightening of my skin and just an overall improvement in texture. And with the vitamin A, definitely I have seen a softening of fine lines. Really, really enjoy these. So they're, um, this one is empty. I have another one on the go. This one is, I think there might be one use left in it. Um, I, it's the order is coming through so really 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 recommend those they're fabulous and um, this is a product that I got in um, America when I was in New York last year and it's the Dr. Brandt Needles No More Wrinkle Smoothing Cream um, Smooths Expression Lines um, I got this free because we <laughs> any of you who've been watching me for a while you probably you may remember me talking about my trip to New York we went to see the recording of um, I think it was called The View. Um, Whoopi Goldberg was the, the host, hostess, and um, Rob Lowe was the guest. And my daughter had very kindly got tickets for me for while we were there. And they were doing a feature on skincare and we all got little packages to take. But my daughter's, I'm just checking, I don't have uh, lipstick on my teeth. My daughter's, we all, the three of us were there and uh, we all got one of these. And they very kindly gave me the line smoothing cream. I wonder why they didn't want it. But this retails for, well, you can find it for varying prices, but it's expensive. It's about 90 euro. Could be around $90 as well. I'm not sure, but um, how much is in it? There's, does it say? Um, 15 grams. So it's in a little pump. It actually looks like there's more in it. There's nothing left in this. Um, you use it on your forehead between you know for your elevenses and around your eyes and you're not supposed to use it below your um, cheekbones i've been using it since august so this is the that's my second bottle and i'm saying i'm nearly finished the third one um yeah I, I don't know i mean i can see an improvement but i don't know if it's down to the vitamin a and other products that i'm using but for the price i won't be repurchasing it but um you know if it was in your budget and it, it is an ice cream to use I'm not really sure if it's made a huge difference. That's the only thing. So that's that. Now, am I any other skincare? No. Um, oh, one other. Well, it's not. Yeah. This is a Clarins lip balm. I think I've spoken about this before. I had to cut it, as you can see. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see the name because there's a shine on it. Ah, I can't get the shine 
no, because I'm not covering the name. Of it. Anyway, it is the Moisture Replenishing Lip Balm with Essential Rose Wax. So I had to cut it. Um, it's a lovely one. There might be a little bit left to show you. It's kind of a pinky colour. There is a little bit left in it. It's kind of a pinky colour um, lip balm. It's lovely. I use it mainly at night and I can definitely still feel it there in the mornings. Um, I won't be repurchasing it just at the moment because I have others that I'm using. But it is a lovely one. And that has lasted me, I'd say, a year. So I would recommend that. Um, for body care, I've gone through Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E, Anti-Aging Therapy, Smooth Exfoliates, Alpha, beta, alpha and Beta Hydroxy um, Smoothing Lotion. <clears throat> I actually really do love this. And again, any of you who have watched me before, I know I generally prefer an oil, but this is a lovely... Um, it's just a lovely consistency. It's quite liquid. It, it's readily absorbed by the skin and you but it, you you actually feel like you're you're doing something for your skin. I don't tend to have very dry skin on my body, except maybe on the fronts of my legs, on my shins. And it, I like the idea that it's exfoliating and it is moisturising. It doesn't leave your skin sticky or greasy or anything like that. And I'm on to my next one. So really enjoy that. Um, for hand care, I have gone through... And again, I've cut... I cut everything to get the last out of them. Um, this is the La Roche-Posay... Lipicar Balm AP Plus Anti-Irritation, Anti-Scratching. So I suffer from very, very dry skin on my hands and there's literally nothing left in that. <clears throat> that might look like there's something in it, but it's not. It's the design. It's kind of, you can see it's like a honeycomb or something at the end of it. Um, <clears throat> I suffer from very, very dry hands. They can peel and crack in the wintertime. This sorts it out. Really enjoyed, it. and it's not too expensive. I think. And there's how much is in that? There's two hundred mil in that. I think I paid ten euro, and it lasted me like over a year. So I highly recommend that. Another hand cream is a Bioderma, Atoderm Main and hand cream and nail cream. Um, it's the Ultra Repair for dry and damaged hands and nails, nourishes, calms, and protects and non oily. And again, I've cut it, um, but that's it there. I link. I'll list everything below um there's 50 mil in that and i really did enjoy that and it doesn't like i would i would use that more throughout the day because it doesn't leave your hands greasy um for hair care did i mention this already i don't think i did this is the herbal essences it's a conditioner it's the daily detox clean golden raspberry and mint conditioner i really liked that i felt it didn't weigh my hair down a very very fine hair it's not colored it's my own natural color so I have to be careful of what I use. I need to keep my hair nourished and moisturised moisturized and hydrated because with naturally greying hair, you, that's a problem that you don't, you know, it's, it's a problem that you're going to face is keeping the hair um, healthy. It's very easy for it to get um, dried out and, and split ends and everything. So that's a really nice one and I would repurchase it. Um, I haven't repurchased it at the moment because I'm using other things. It has a lovely scent as well. It just has a lovely scent for the shower. It is kind of raspberry-ish, but it's not overpowering it's just a lovely scent and I think in one of my past empties I talked about the matching shampoo so I really liked that and another hair care was the living proof prime style extender locks in your style for longer weightless perfecting weatherproofing time saving use alone or under other other stylers had to cut it again and um, to get the last out of it this I've had for over I'd say about a year and a half because you use a tiny amount and there's um 148 mils in it, five fluid ounces. I did like it and I would repurchase it, not just at the moment because I'm trying something else, but I would repurchase it. And you put it on, it's like your primer for your hair. You use it before you use any other styling products. And what it does is it um, helps to repel, you know, dirt and moisture and grease and grime and all of that sort of thing and hold your style in place. I found it worked better when my hair was longer. When it was cut into a short bob, it didn't seem to work as well for me. Um, and I would tend not to put it into the roots of my hair. I would tend to put it more through the lengths. But I did enjoy it. It lasted. It was, it's expensive. I think to buy this here in Ireland, it's about 30 euro. I could be wrong. I'll check it. But it's definitely between 25 and 30 euro. And um, so it is a bit of a spend, you know, hair care wise. But it lasts a long time. So you get your money's worth out of it. Um, now. Uh, slightly, well it's not random, this is a toothpaste that I love and it's the Oral-B 3D White Lux. I have to pull it because I've squeezed it the last little bit out. I really do enjoy this toothpaste and I definitely think 
that it has made a difference to the whiteness of my teeth because I have I wouldn't have white teeth naturally they would tend to be more kind of creamy colored it's, you know people you know, not everybody has white white teeth um, and this is the pearl glow and I really did enjoy it and I have repurchased I think I've nearly finished the, the next one but um, and I do think that it made a difference and these are very often on offer in boots so I really have enjoyed that um, now, a little bit, this very small amount of makeup. I finished up my an Essence Liquid Eyeliner and it's waterproof. It's just in black. It's like, that's it, sorry. I'll show you the, the little tube first. That's it there. Um, and it's a liquid eyeliner and it's got a little, it's almost like a, a pen. It's quite, that's quite, um, quite sturdy. You know, it's, it's, and it's quite easy to work with. Um, there might be a little, it's very, dry, it's very dried up. Um, I really did enjoy that and I've repurchased, I think what, it, I don't know if they've repackaged it. It's, I think the, the actual product itself is the same, but the packaging is slightly different, but I find it's a really, really good um, eyeliner and they tend not to budge because I have oily eyelids. So I need to find, you know, I need an eyeliner that's not going to smudge and smear. Um, if you've watched me for a while, you'll have heard me speak about this and it is the Rimmel Extra 3D Lash in Black. This is a fabulous mascara. I had it in my favourites for 2017. Um, nice small um, little brush. Um, the little bristles on it are quite, are quite short so it's very easy to get into the root without poking yourself in the eye. And if you're like me and you have deep set, small or hooded eyes, you know, getting um, finding a mascara that is easy to use and you're not hitting yourself on the, you know, on your eye socket bone or poking yourself in the eye, which I regularly do, that's a really good um, mascara. It gives good length and volume. I've really enjoyed it and I will repurchase that. Um, now, these are two items that I have, they're not quite finished, but I'm getting rid of them because I have them for too long. So this one is the Benefit Smoke and Eyes sexy eye and brow makeover kit and that's it there i have this for longer than i can actually remember i'll just cover the, the mirror i can't remember when i bought this it's very well used as you can see i've hit pan on two of them there was a little tweezers here that's gone missing there was i think um an eye a pencil eyeliner in there as well that's gone missing and these have kind of they're gone they just don't have a nice consistency anymore. I wouldn't, they're sticky and ugh. And I'm, they're so old, I would be afraid to put them on my eyes. So that's going, although it's been very well used and very well enjoyed as well. Um, this one is um, a L'Oreal lipstick and it's from Collection Privé and it's the one by Cheryl, who is Cheryl Cole. I think she's Cheryl Fernandez now. Um, this is very old because they don't make this particular one anymore but I was very reluctant, this tiny little bit left in it, I was very reluctant to let it go. It still smells okay but I don't know, it's just, it's a really good colour, lovely peachy, pinky peachy colour but I'm just a little bit afraid. I've had it for so long and I've used it so much that I'm just afraid there might be something on that that wouldn't be good for me. Um, and I think that is it for my empties. I haven't left anything out no i haven't so um i hope you've enjoyed that let me know what you've used up if you have any good recommendations for me to try i love to get recommendations um i hope you've enjoyed it and if you haven't subscribed already if you've liked what you've seen please hit that subscribe button give me a thumbs up it really helps and uh, if you hit the subscribe button if you also tap the little bell beside it you'll get notifications as to when i upload a video in general, twice a week. Some weeks doesn't happen. <laughs> it depends. That's family life. Um, but most weeks, twice a week. And um, yeah, I'd love to have you as part of the community. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Um, I really appreciate you taking the time to come and watch my videos. And I love when you comment. Please leave comments below. I love interacting with all of you. And I try to get back to everybody. Um, I generally do. It might, it might take me a bit longer. <clears throat> Over Christmas I wasn't too good because I took a break, but I do in general try to get back to everybody before I actually post another video. Um, so uh, yeah, that's it. So I hopefully will see you again in my next video. So I'll talk to you again really soon. Take care. Bye bye.